Then came the second type of experiment carried out by Mendel that was inheritance of two genes or dihybrid experiment. Definitely the name suggests that in this two different characters were involved for carrying out the resultant offspring. So dihybrid experiment can be defined as the crossing of two plants that differs in two different characters is called dihybrid experiment that is such a sort of study is called dihybrid experiment In order to study the inheritance of two genes, Mendel chose two characters that is shape of the seed and color of the seed. In case of shape, the shape that he chose was round and wrinkled. While in case of color, the two types of color of seed were yellow and green. In order to start with the experiment, Mendel selected pure breeding yellow and round shaped seed producing plant. Here the gene for yellow flower was represented by capital Y. For green plant it was represented by small y. Then for the shape of the plant that is round, gene for the plant was capital R. And for wrinkle, it was small r. So, the genetic multiplication on the cross that was carried out was in the form of y, y into small y, small y, and the combination of shape and color. That is round and yellow shaped seed was crossed with wrinkled and green color seed. In order to study this, Mendel selected pure breeding yellow and round seed shape producing color of the plant. So, in this manner, the F1 generation that was obtained was RR and YY. And the same. So the cross between two resulted into F2 generation. On this basis it was calculated as the F1 generation gave the heterozygous round and yellow seed. But when the cross between F1 generation resulted into F2, the ratio obtained was 9 is to 3 is to 1. Now this ratio 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 was studied as follow. This figure depicts the cross between parent plant resulted into F1 and the cross between F1 resulting into F2. As it can be seen from the figure, the parent plant when it was crossed resulted into F1 that is heterozygous, round and yellow shaped seeds. Further, when the F1 was multiplied and resulted into F2 generation, the result was in such a manner that, that out of the 16 seeds, the 9 seeds that were obtained were round and yellow seeded plants 
the three that were obtained was wrinkled but yellow seeded plants. The other three that were obtained were round and green seeded plants and the one was the wrinkled and green seeded plant. So let us study the result that the nine plants out of this obtained were the homozygous nature that is round and yellow seeded plant which was represented as R, R and Y, Y. This was homozygous in nature. The three obtained were wrinkled but yellow seeded plant. So it was represented as small r and capital Y. Then came the other three which were round and green seeded plant. Which was and the rest one was wrinkled and green seeded plant. So it is represented as small r and small y. So in this basis it was calculated that in case of shape of the seed the round seeded plants were dominant in nature while the wrinkled seeded plants were recessive in nature. Secondly, on the basis of color, the yellow seeded plant exhibited dominant character while green seeded plant exhibited recessive character. On the basis of dihybrid experiment, Mendel derived a law known as Law of Independent Assortment. Mendel, as per this law, stated that the segregation of genes controlling one character is independent of the segregation of genes controlling another character. Thus, according to this law, an independency was maintained between the segregation of two characters that were taken into consideration during the during dihybrid experiment that was carried out by Mendel. And it was according to this law that a dihybrid cross resulted into the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Such a ratio was observed for several pairs of characters that Mendel took into consideration. However, this law has one limitation that such a law was true only in cases where the two pairs of genes that controls the two different characters are 
और शुड बी लोकेटेड ऑन टू डिफरेंट पेयर ऑफ होमोलॉगस क्रोमोजोम and therefore as per this law the genes on the same pair of chromosomes are not independently assorted Thus, this was the only limitation of this law, and therefore, on this basis, Mendel proposed mainly three laws: that is, law of dominance, law of segregation, that was obtained on the basis of monohybrid experiment, and the third law, that is, law of independent assortment, that was obtained on the basis of dihybrid experiment. However, after performing the two types of experiment. it was not so that all the results that were obtained was correct so let us study the evaluation that was carried out by mendel first his belief that the two alleles of a gene where one is dominant and the other is recessive was not true in all cases then the second only according to his work there are only two alleles of a gene which was even not true in all cases following it came the third point that many exceptions that were found according to him where both genes express their effects jointly that is the law of segregation that was proposed by mendel was not true everywhere in all cases the fourth one character is controlled by only one pair of genes was even not true in all cases in order to understand this limitation let us understand the concept of incomplete dominance 